Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Bill Moore. Got another review for you guys today from Fisher and & Weiser, and this one's right up my alley because this is a Korean barbecue sauce. Uh, just check out that nice label. Um, really nice looking job on their bottles, really gourmet. They put their uh, Fisher & Weiser um, name right there on the glass, and uh, even the shrink wrap is uh, designed with their name on it. And you can see their name along the cap here as well. And they always have these little messages in the inside of the cap. And this one says, don't chew with your mouth open. <laughs> okay. Now, as you've watched, uh, if you've watched uh, many of my videos, you know that um, my wife is Korean. I love Korean food. Um, I know the flavors of Korean food. And so I'm um, going to do a review on this one today. This is their Korean barbecue sauce. This is a... Uh, a hot pepper award winner, third place in the uh, ethnic category, and it did recently win second place at the uh, 2014 Fiery Foods Challenge, and uh, won second place in the barbecue sauce specialty category. So congratulations on that, guys. And let me go ahead and read a little bit about this. They, I like the way they do their labels. They put nice descriptions, serving suggestions, and then some family secrets down here from the. Uh, Owners, uh, Case Fisher and Mark Weiser. But this one says, uh, barbecue known as bulgogi, now actually the word bulgogi in Korean means fire beef, is a delicacy in Korea and we're happy to present our authentic Korean barbecue sauce for frequent use as a marinade, basting sauce, or stir fry sauce for beef, pork, or chicken. Once tried, it will become a pantry staple and will liven up any meal, whether uh, grilling, stir frying, or roasting. Enjoy. Now they say here, here for serving suggestions, uh, they say dip, uh, mandu, Korea, which is Korean pot stickers. You've probably seen me review those. Um, giran mawi, which is Korean egg rolls, uh, baste uh, for beef, chicken, or pork, and to marinate, which is what I did today, beef, chicken, pork before grilling. And their uh, family secrets down here say, uh, for an authentic way to serve Korean barbecue, wrap it in lettuce and add condiments such as green onions, um, uh, jump, uh, uh, samjang, which is spicy chili paste, and kimchi, which is fermented cabbage. Now, I've been in Korea. I've lived in Korea. so uh, And you can also find Korean restaurants here in the States where it is really a lot of fun to go there with the friends and family and sit around a table and actually cook uh, the, the meat right there on the grill. So it's really a fun experience. And they're right. Um, when you uh, eat the bulgogi, beef bulgogi or pork bulgogi, you can wrap it up in green leaf lettuce or cabbage and uh, put kimchi in it, uh, more garlic and some other fresh vegetables. So it's just really a lot of fun. But let me go ahead and read the ingredients on this one. Uh, we start off with apple juice, evaporated cane juice, rice vinegar, tomato puree, uh, which is sugar, distilled vinegar, wheat, soybeans, uh, sesame seed oil, which is toasted sesame oil and canola oil, modified food starch, uh, tapioca, sesame seeds, garlic, ginger powder, red pepper flakes, spices, black pepper, and alcohol. Okay, I don't know if that's maybe a mirin or a rice wine. But uh, from basically from these ingredients and from what I've uh, uh, smelled and tasted of this already, they really have done a uh, pretty good job of capturing the basic flavors of a bulgogi, of a marinade sauce, of a Korean barbecue sauce, uh, with, which is basically the, the soy, the sesame oil, and the uh, ginger, or not ginger, the garlic and uh, sugar. Uh, those are the basic ingredients that need to go in there. Now, what, what really goes in a beef uh, bulgogi or marinade is really um, soy sauce and some sugar and some sesame oil, sesame seeds, red pepper flakes, flakes, and maybe some uh, pear puree. Uh, it's not. It's really not all that hot. Uh, that's mainly for the beef. Now, when you uh, do it for chicken or pork, uh, to those ingredients they add what they call a gochujang, which is a fermented red pepper chili paste. Um, which is very popular in Korea, and that kind of thickens it up, and you can really make that as hot as you want, and that's really for the chicken and the uh, the pork. But I think what they've done on this one is they've done a great job to make a Korean-flavored barbecue sauce that's very versatile, uh, that crosses all lines between using it on beef, chicken, or pork. Um, the aroma on this, you get that garlic, you get the sesame, you get the... Um, 
uh, the soy, and those are the re really strong um, aromas that come off of this, and that's exactly what you want. You don't want a, a barbecue sauce, a Korean barbecue sauce, to be sweet, to be ketchup-y um, with honey or something like that. You really want it to be strong in the garlic, the soy, and the sesame, and they've done a pretty good job of that. But we'll do, do a little spoon test here for you guys. As you can see, the, uh, the color and the consistency, kind of nice and thick. Okay, here we go. Mm. Very, very strong in the soy and the, uh, the sesame and the garlic. And that's exactly what you want. You can see the red pepper flakes in here. So they've done a really good job of capturing those main uh, Korean flavors. Um, now what I've done, as you can see for the intro, is I marinated some pork um, overnight with just uh, slithered white onions. I marinated this overnight with this sauce. That is all I put in there and just um, grilled it up, uh, sauteed it really in, in a um, pan on top of the stove. And that's all you have to do uh, to get a nice, uh, quick and easy Korean dish. So here we go. I just love this stuff on pork and chicken. But I think pork's probably my favorite. Mm. Put my onion here. You just serve this up with some white rice, and it's just as easy as that. Um, this is a very easy way to um, to get uh, pretty authentic uh, Korean flavors with pork. Um, the ones that I make when I do it on the pork is really a lot more spicy, and I do use the uh, original uh, Korean ingredients of that fermented uh, pepper paste. Uh, but once again, Fisher and Weiser has done a great job for the masses, for the retail market, of making a Korean barbecue sauce that could, that is good on beef, chicken, pork, or just about anything, and really giving you those great uh, Korean flavors. So awesome job on that. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 for flavor. And heat, it's not really hot, um, so I just give it a 1 out of 10. But everybody, check out their products. They've got a long line of history that goes back to 1928, so check them out on their website. And you can visit them on Facebook at uh, Fisher & Weiser. And their uh, website is simply jelly, J-E-L-L-Y, dot com. Thanks a lot, guys, for sending the products. I appreciate it. And thanks, everybody, for watching. And stay tuned. And until next time, don't forget, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.